Could the longtime state rep Win Moses be vulnerable this election? Republicans smell blood, and they brought the governor candidate Mike Pence to Fort Wayne today to stump for Moses' opponent, Martin Carbaugh. News Channel 15's Aaron Rodgers joins us now with more on what could be an intriguing race. Mark, I had a chance to speak with two out of the three candidates running for the 81st district seat, and they say there's nothing but hard work ahead for the next three weeks. Three weeks away from the election, and every vote and endorsement counts. Having the opportunity to be endorsed by a sitting congressman, a future governor of our state, is um, something that uh, is overwhelming for me. Gubernatorial candidate Mike Pence came to Fort Wayne to endorse Martin Carbaugh for the 81st District State Representative seat. I think Indiana is on the verge of an era of growth uh, and opportunity uh, like no other in our lifetime, but it's going to take the right leaders at every level. Carbaugh is going up against 20-year incumbent Win Moses. He says it's time for a change and that he can bring something a little different to the table. What I can tell you is, is that uh, I'm going to bring a, a positive attitude. When I sat down to talk to Moses about Pence's visit, he had this to say. Um, if I had to choose between getting local endorsements of people that know us both for long periods of time or someone from out of the city, I choose the local people every time. Although it's a close race, Moses said his track record during his nearly 30 years of political service in Fort Wayne speaks for itself. I'm looking forward to working for the citizens of Fort Wayne in the 81st district and doing what's right for them, creating jobs at IPFW, at our medical facilities, at our military facilities, at our, at our manufacturing facilities. That's what I'm good at. That's what I do. My opponent doesn't have any of that experience. At the rally, Allen County GOP members took time to comment on the Democrat walkouts in previous years. I have heard that people are uh, still frustrated by the fact that they took that route, uh, that they um, decided to go to Illinois in protest. Um, you know, that's something I, I uh, will not do. However, Moses said without the walkout, the right to work wouldn't even be debated in Indiana. I did everything I could in the last session to preserve the jobs of the citizens of the 81st District, to make sure that they were going to have high-paying, careful jobs that they could count on. Leaving for a time period helped me fight better. That's the reason I went out, and I will always fight for them. I don't ever expect to do that again, but I think I'm going to be the most effective person at bringing jobs into Fort Wayne. Alexander Avery is running as a libertarian for the seat as well. Now, both candidates say they're going to continue walking and meeting the voters door-to-door -door up until the election on November 6th.